Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you a Splinterlands informational update, as it were. Thanks for dropping by, I do appreciate your time. If you're new around here, just checking out videos on YouTube about either collectible card games or play-to-earn games or Web3 games. Um, I've been playing Splinterlands for three more than three years now and i'd say it's worth a try they've put a lot of updates into the game over the last year and we're getting ready to roll into 2025 with lots on the schedule for updates in the future um, a big update just happened today and went into the game which we're going to talk about a part of that the new ambassador program going live but before that um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like to get splinterlands news please subscribe also think about leaving a like on the program and if you want to hear whenever I drop new uh, videos uh, hit that uh, little bell button so I appreciate it okay uh, a program that was near and dear to my heart in web3 games and other games are the referral links um, as a youtuber uh, I'm covering so many different games that these referral programs really help me out do they make me rich no do they make me a lot of money no but in a lot of cases they uh, serve to give me some a, a little trickle of um, in-game assets in the various games that I play so that I can continue to cover them and have something to talk about and everything so um, the referral program in Splinterlands um, over the years, I've gotten a good amount of referrals. However, it hasn't led to um, a lot on my side as far as I didn't have a lot to show for it. Um, so when Bulldog brought this up a few months ago about um, updating the program, the program needed updating, I fully agreed. Not that uh, I you know, uh, make a ton of money off it or anything, but I think that um, as a YouTuber, if I go out of my way and spend my time, I do enjoy talking about these topics in Splinterlands. I love playing Splinterlands, right? But it does help us out, like I said. So uh, with that said, this program got uh, a facelift, so let's dive in. Okay, so as far as I know, the referral program has been going ever since I started playing more than three years ago, right? Um, and I've got a lot of referrals over the years because I've been covering Splinterlands for two plus years on this channel, right? Um, but I just haven't made a whole lot out of it. So um, that's uh, why I wasn't surprised when somebody put a proposal forward. It was Bulldog put a proposal forward um, and brought up the idea of revamping this program. Okay, so fast forward uh, several months. Uh, eventually, the idea got uh, changed and whittled down and worked on until the team came up with something that they liked the idea of. And that's what we have here today. It went live, um, so you can use a referral code now. We'll dive in and or ambassador program. So you become an ambassador for Splinter, uh, Splinterlands, and um, we'll dive in and we'll see what this means. Um, I'm going to start using my ambassador link in my show notes of my channel, um, Splinterlands coverage from here on out. If you're new to the game and you want to get started, please use my referral code. Uh, we'll we'll talk about exactly what this means. Uh, if you're a player, you can use a referral code. You've got a friend, you've got a, um, uh, a relative that wants to start playing. You've got somebody that wants to, that works with you, wants to start playing. You can share your referral code, um, ambassador. I keep calling it a referral code. It is a referral code, but it's an ambassador affiliate program link. And if they use that, then, uh, you stand to benefit off of it as well. So Let's dive in. It says, what is the Ambassador Program? The Ambassador Program allows players to earn rewards by introducing players to Splinterlands. And it's a replacement for the Affiliate Program. And I will leave a link to this page in the show notes so you can check it out and read it for yourself. Um, and they have this article over on... Um, the article that started it uh, is linked here. And this is uh, Bulldogs when he originally brought this up. Um, and here's a big note, and we'll talk. We'll mention this here in a minute uh, when we go through all the details. But whereas the old program, you could refer, you could use your referral code for alternate accounts of your own. It is now against the terms of service to use your own referral code. So if you're starting a new account uh, for various reasons, you can't use your own referral code. Okay, I just want to bring that up. Okay, how can I earn through the ambassador program? Okay, so you share your referral code, uh, your referral link rather, um, like I always talk about in my various videos. I put them in the notes of the show so people can use them if they wish. Um, and then you 
earn off of that. So uh, basically they've broken it into two tiers, silver and gold. You start off in silver, okay? And to make it into silver, you have to refer at least one friend or refer at least one person. And then when you do, you and your friends, uh, you and your referee each earn 500 credits when they purchase a spell book. So uh, if you're new to the game, one of the things that goes into making that first step out of free to play is buying the spell book. It's very low cost, but once you do, you get more cards to play with and there's a bunch of other advantages to that. However, you earn 500 credits and then the person that referred you earns 500 credits. Um, and that person, uh, the referee has to use the referral link. Okay. Now what's next? You earn 5% of the referee's end of season glint rewards. Okay. Up to a hundred percent of your end of season glint rewards. Um, and here's the caveat. You must earn end of season glint in order to earn glint for referrals. So you can't just refer a bunch of people and not play the game. Right. Uh, or not have like uh, I have uh, my accounts playing in wild. Okay, so if at any point you are not earning uh, any end of season glint, then you're also not going to get any referral glint. Okay, so there's uh, two different ways you can earn here. You get that a uh, little bit of uh, 500 credits when they buy the spell book, and you continue uh, to earn off of what they are and it doesn't affect what they earn, right? But you get 5% of your referees end of season glint rewards as long as you're active and earning glint, okay? Now, the next up is the gold tier. Now to earn gold tier, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, okay? Here's the requirements. You have to have 10 referrals who uh, have at least $100 in purchases via the primary, secondary, or rental market. So they, you can, they can be bought directly off the store, they can be bought off of uh, peak monsters, what have you, um, but your referees have to buy at least $100 worth of whatever, um, and you have to have 10 of them. This includes purchases and rentals made in-game and supported uh, third-party websites. And the earning for the gold tier to start to accumulate after the above parameters have been met, the ambassador must also have a spell book. So I'm, I, they, they have to spell this out, right? So it doesn't get abused. But most of us who've been playing the game, if you've been playing the game for any amount of time, usually you're going to have a spell book. That's how you get into the game really um, after you start out playing free to play and test the waters a little bit. Okay. Now, Here's the kicker. Whenever you get into the, the gold tier, you earn a 5% bonus paid in DEC, Dark Energy Crystals, for all packs your referees purchase from the most recent set purchased from the in-game shop. Okay, so you get 5% bonus paid in DEC off the newest set if they buy it from the in-game shop. Okay, this isn't secondary market purchases of packs. This is the newest set and uh, it has to be bought directly off of the store, the Splinterland store, okay? So you get 5% back um, off of what, whatever they bought, right? Now, the next thing is you earn 1% of your friend's transactions on peer-to-peer -peer markets, okay? So we're talking peak monsters like. So um, you would earn 1% off of whatever they purchased there. So you're earning both ways, but you earn more if they buy off of the... Um, uh, the in-game shop uh, in Splinterland. So obviously they're trying to promote using their own shop. Okay. Now they go ahead and go through, um, they've set up a nice interface on the actual game to where you can check your ambassador status. Uh, you can go in and you can see how you stand. Uh, you can see how much money you're making, uh, etc. cetera. So um, here's a note. While free to play accounts may participate in the ambassador program and earn rewards in the silver tier, a spell book is required to unlock all gold tier earnings. So you can, uh, in free to play, you can earn uh, in the silver tier as an ambassador. Just trying to get the word out, allowing everybody to use it. But to get that gold tier earnings, you have to go ahead and kick in and buy the spell book. Now, I was wondering what they were going to do about this. Um, Crypto Eater put in that final proposal and it passed. Um, all prior, prior referrals uh, have been wiped. Okay. 
uh, I had, like I said, I had a fair amount of referrals uh, on my list. Uh, not that it was really doing me a whole lot of good uh, by the way the old system worked, but all those got wiped. And if you had any referrals, uh, they got wiped. Okay, so it's basically do over. Um, so the next part of this basically goes through and tells you, kind of leads you through what happens when a referral use refer e uses your link. Okay, when they hit that link, you're, they're going to come into a, a, the register page here, and your name is going to be auto filled out. Of course, the person could just put your name in there, but if they use your link, it's going to be auto filled out. Now, uh, they go ahead and continue to uh, show you uh, how to actually find where your link is, which we'll dive into in a minute. And like I said, you can view your ambassador payments, what you've been paid. Um, also, you can look at uh, just under the standard balance history. Uh, you're going to look under the DEC tab to see these transactions. Um, and then uh, they go ahead and list some FAQs if you have a problem. So let's jump over to the Splinterland page. Oh, check it out. There's the Grim Bardoon Smith in his Santa Claus outfit because, yes, they put some uh, Christmas Yuletide artwork into the game just like they did the Halloween. So I love it. I love it. I love it. So uh, to check out the new system or to check out the new program, go up to the settings up here, and then you would select Ambassador Status. And then it would take you to this page and you can see that of course it's day one so but here's the thing i want to point out this is where you get your link you can just click the copy button and you can see that the link is going to be the same but that very last part is going to change depending upon who you are that's going to be your hive username right uh, you can also uh, see uh, how many referrals you had how many spell books those referrals have bought and uh, click on this tab and you can see uh, basically right at your fingertips how much you've made, how many credits you've made, how much glint you've made, how much DEC you've made off of your referrals. Um, you can click up here and you can check the benefits and it all, uh, it lists it all out for you. And it looks like they even have a leaderboard. So we can see that uh, this just got started out and um, they even have a different way to sort it. Okay, so I mean, you can you have a sort uh, a leaderboard by referrals, spell books, credits earned, DEC earned, and glint earned. So, uh, I guess for people who like to compete, um, it's another way for competition. Uh, doesn't say that uh, there are any prizes for it. Um, who knows? Um, that may be part of what they intend on the future. Uh, I don't know why they would put a leaderboard if they didn't intend on doing something with it. Uh, obviously, it's to uh, you know, we play games, so we're competitive in nature, right? So we're trying to compete. So with that said, this has been Bronze Dragon with an ambassador program update informational video for you on Splinterlands. Uh, if you're new to the game, just checking it out. Check out some of my other videos and then use my referral code if you want to start playing. Uh, this has been Bronze Dragon. If you have any questions you want me to follow up with, just leave them in the comments. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I hope uh, December is treating you well. I'll see you in Splinterlands. Thank you.